дело. Ну? Мэй, there's guys doing car phrases on a little kid's park toy. Just because it's, it's flat and it's got a good scenery. <laughs> he wanted to do it to flex here, I can tell. <laughs> you worried? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I know why you've picked this area, yeah? Because obviously it's fine for you doing deadlifts, but I'm going to be there in my fucking lycra, my chopper out doing clean deadlifts. And you're like, look at this fucking show off. But what you do is pretty impressive, so <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> okay. Okay. If if you were if you were failing lifts and you were moving like an absolute spaz, we're gonna uh, have to reel a lot of weights over there, right? Because I, I had a I had a look on Google Maps and just from knowing the area, this is probably the nicest place. You know, we will get full sun. He sounds like a real estate nice agent. <laughs> it's quite spacious. Um, Three bedroom uh, garage. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a real steal. This video gets 10,000 likes, Apex will do a session naked and set up an OnlyFans. <laughs> Sonny Pierre's a little bit nervous today, isn't he? I don't know what he's nervous about. Does this all the time. Pretends like he doesn't like to layer up. He wears superhero pants. Whoa, that's better. Wow. As if don't look at me. I'd be surprised if we end up on influencers in the wild after this, especially once Apex gets his big tripod out. Got some, uh, some new ones, but haven't stepped too far, so we can't be too disappointed. Some energy sports drink flavored jellies. Orange blast, blue lightning, and lemon lime leap. And what are these? Rainbow snakes. Snakes. He hasn't just gone to any sort of supermarket to get them ones. Can't go wrong with natural confectionery company. Sponsor yeah. deal still has not come through yet. The irony of getting a no sugar energy drink and then having a copious amounts of sweets is just fucking outrageous. Balance. We want red power energy. Greens for you, big boy. Thanks, Brass. 240 COVID cases today. You are never going home, brother. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Last week was the first time I deadlifted it in a long time. What actually happened to your back? No, it's my wrist. Because my shoulders are real tight. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just heaps massive and shit. So trying to get my arm through back when we were doing those cleans the the cycling would not to move the feet but i couldn't get under it as much by moving my feet it's still far from that well i didn't i just wrapped it up i didn't take any time off it you can move it just fine it's only when i'm end range like that it starts to bark it like that it's fine you know it gets end range just fine here it just pinches that's actually not as bad as it has been so yeah so you're right on all fours do it you know just do it you know you know, this is this is actually a super common injury that people get when they're weightlifting, having a shitty front wrap mobility. <gasps> How dare you! Commonly, what you'll see is elbows landing on top of knees like this in the catch, and then people's wrists snapping like so. But if you don't have a very good front rack, then in your catch position here, the bar tends to be out away from the body or not actually be able to rest on the shoulders. And if you can't rest on the shoulders, then all the weight goes through the wrist. So what you're actually trying to do when you're receiving the bar in the clean is get it to land on the shoulders, not on the wrist, so that ultimately that's where the bar is, but in the catch. Like so. So exercises that you can do to warm that up. Some like front wrap rotations. I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> front wrap rotations. One of my favorite ones is anchor squats. So letting the bar hang behind the head and squatting down like so. This will get you used to thinking about being in a nice upright position in the catch of the clean. Finally, to create a good platform, we need this range of motion, upper thoracic, something like happy cat, angry cat, or happy girlfriend, angry girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> or boyfriend for Sean. Don't tell people that. Have you ever struggled with any mobility or have you always had, had that in the bag? Do you know what? I've been very fortunate because I started when I was 11. Most 11 year olds have pretty good mobility and I've had no more than seven days off training since I was 11. <laughs> it's a long time, isn't it? I've always maintained my mobility, but what happens for most people is they get to the age of like 17, 18. They start sitting in university, get a desk job or a job where they're not actually testing their mobility daily. And then that's when they go to shit then and then they seize up tighten up and then it's much harder to reteach the body to move well again so yeah i've been fortunate that i've kept it but it's because i'm continually training strengthening mobilizing every single week fun fact for you apex was a international league player it's the only football i play nowadays it's just international who is it for canada canada fucking, fucking a how does that work when you live in bondi my dad's from bc dad's from canada 
from Kelowna. So did you know the national anthem prior to that, true? Yeah, but I've forgotten now, so don't ask me. A real Canadian pride there. Starts with, oh Canada, <laughs> our home and, and then you just start moving the land. That's all I've got. That's all I've got, but that's the best part, you know? That's the best part. And then um, when well, you know that's coming back again, you just amp it So up. today we're gonna do cl a clean variety, like a selection pack of everything clean related. I don't know how heavy, I don't know in what particular style. I just know that it's going to be a clean day today. So enjoy. <laughs> did you bring a story Did you bring any fires for crispy? Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I literally did. Did you think, ah, oh, better bring some fires for crispy? <laughs> exactly what I thought. This guy doesn't get any stronger in the next few weeks. He's gonna be fucking not allowed to train oh with us anymore. Jesus. PB a week he, keeps he, the vid he away. Came he came over here, calling himself the strongest cameraman in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> I'm the strongest cameraman in New Zealand. <laughs> Come on, mate, you can clean it. Oh. <sighs> Just gets to him mentally, the 100 kilo bar, doesn't it? Nursing his wrist. Oh, do you want to know how to miss a clean correctly? Mm -hmm. So most people when they clean it, they do this. And then they go, oh no. <laughs> oh, I'll have to go fives now, Link. Oh, fuck, I'll be in for a while. Look, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to work in two hours, so I don't know if I can get my fucking lifting in, you in your, with your progression. I'm yeah. happy to go one for you. Yeah, so am I. Oh, I'm going sing this one out again, fellas. <laughs> Deadlift such an anti-climactic exercise. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, put it back down. <laughs> Especially after you like the same weight, you've thrown it over your head in one go. Oh, what's that big guy gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> Fuck, you look good with a snake in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Even when it's not mine. What are your opinions with lifting the straps, Ronnie boy? Very good. Okay. Hadn't used like the, is it nylon? Yeah. yeah, hadn't used nylon ones before. Hey, do you know why we made them? They're vegan friendly. No shit. Mm. <sighs> Don't like them anymore now. No, I, I, I thought they might be uncomfortable versus the ones, but no, they, they're great. They don't cut into the wrist at all. Big fighting supply. Are you a big fan of using straps though? Did you use that in your strength training? Yeah, well for deadlifts, yeah, because I like to maintain a pronated grip, so double overhand. Just a personal choice, really. And I certainly don't want to lift that much weight relying on hook grip, because that's just fucked up. Oh, yeah. Having been filming Sunny for the last three, four weeks, it's a rather rare occasion when he misses something. Hence the silence afterwards there. <laughs> what do you do on these days when you feel like shot and you don't want to go for it? Do something I enjoy doing, like this stupid exercise. Let's do really. it. So I'm just going to wait here for a minute, collect my thoughts. I actually need to try to get these weights, they're not just going to lift themselves. So I'm just going to search in back of my soul for some fucking inspirational quote. I'm going to tell myself in a Now! Minute. What are you going to do? Sorry, but who the fuck chooses to do deadlift in the f fucking park? This guy. This guy. It's not fucking hard to load the bar at all. I'm loving this. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> oh. Because I'm conscious of that when I'm filming something myself, because I breathe heavy anyway, because you know, I'm like a, what are those dogs with the shit breathing? The uh, British Bulldog. Yeah, no, the You little, do look kind of like a British Bulldog. The little ones. Too. Yeah, it's me. I've been nuded as well. No balls. It's like when you see those powerlifters given an instructional after they've done a couple of squats and they're just fucking <laughs> gas swing for another. 
you think I have emphysema? No. No, breathing problems? No. Just um, incredibly unfit. I did five reps about 15 minutes ago and I'm still breathing very hard. Come on, son. How was that? Uh, good. Back. Yeah. 170 just blew, <laughs> blew the dust out my fanny. He's so unimpressed I with himself. Can't talk, about, <laughs> can't talk about fannies being weak. They push us out. They take a pounding. You can't say that on my YouTube video, bro. We're not going to get any monetization at this, right? <laughs> We have to beep every second wheel, don't we? Well, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> All I've got is smut. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Just look at the ground. The fucking bottom. Look at the ground. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know how this is going to go. I just saw someone what do it. What are you trying to do? Overhead squat this, but on its edge. Stood on top of those plates for added comedic value. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get underneath. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. How heavy is it? That's right. 40 kilograms. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what a bar in two tens is. Uh, I still don't know what he's trying to do. I think he's gonna put it over his head. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to balance it. Uh, Just don't have it stab you in the head. Hold on. Um, there you go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think it's good for you guys to see those days when for me like I'm not really in the best of moods to train because I think like nine times out of ten all you see on Instagram is people's highlight reels of their training and I get days like that when I feel shit and can't be bothered to and when I look back on that session it really wasn't that bad that's the most I put above my head in since I hurt my shoulder, which was like nearly two months ago, and I did it twice, and it felt good, and I was in no pain. So like my top tip when you feel that way and you go through your session is like I said in the video, make sure you have one ex the exercise you end up doing for that day is something you actually enjoy doing and something that doesn't take a great deal of thinking. So for me, that's clean and jerk, whereas something more technical like a snatch would have potentially been disastrous if I tried to do that in the mood that I was in. And not only that, but make sure you actually still reflect on the training session that you had because some of the biggest, well, it's one of my favorite quotes, some of the biggest lessons you learn are when you lose or when you're actually not having the best time. So make sure you reflect on that and always have something positive to take away from the training session regardless. I'm going to try and not crash at this junction. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's going to be loads more of these YouTube videos coming. Big thanks to Apex as well for joining me for a session. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. You ready? Slap them on, Sean. Jenga Sunny Just Edition. make sure they're balanced. Yeah. 60. Yeah. Whoa. I'm going to throw these forward if I need to. Yep. Yeah. 80. Ten. Hundred. <laughs> nice one.